everyone and welcome back to Sky Scholar. The end of summer is upon us and with that comes a return of new videos for this channel. But before continuing with our standard format, in this brief clip I would like to bring attention to a few items which are not typically discussed on Sky Scholar. For those of you who have followed my career, you might recall that after I published WMAP, a radiological analysis, I was invited to visit the Astro Space Center in Moscow by the Associate Director Vladimir Kurt. Professor Kurt has devoted his entire career to astrophysics and was intrigued by my assertion that the microwave background might not be of cosmological origin. The Astro Space Center in Moscow is much the equivalent of the academic arm of NASA and some of the older men who work there had as young men once worked on Sputnik. I ended up spending a day with Vladimir both at the Astro Space Center and that evening at his home in Moscow. Last year Vladimir was awarded perhaps the highest prize in Russia for scientific achievement, the Friedman Award of the Russian Academy of Sciences. While in Russia I also visited the Pushino Radio Astronomy Observatory located south of Moscow. This is a branch of the Astro Space Center and I gave a two hour lecture there on the sun and the microwave background. In like manner, several years ago Stephen Crothers was invited to present a lecture in Provino near Moscow at the 29th International Workshop on High Energy Physics. His lecture was entitled Flaws in Black Hole Theory and General Relativity. A link to the published paper from that conference is provided below. In fact, Steve has been invited several times to speak on general relativity in conferences in Russia but has often turned them down because of the great travel distances involved. The lessons from all this is that the Russians appear to have an open mind relative to the microwave background and relativity. Not everything is a settled question. This brings us to the subject of today's video. I wanted to highlight that recently a documentary entitled The Birth of the Universe, Theories and Hypotheses has been produced in Moscow by Space Vortex. The film was sponsored by the Russian Ministry of Culture and both Steve and I were given an opportunity to speak. The documentary also features Arabic Sarkisan and Haruni's antenna. Both were previously featured on Sky Scholar in this video. Importantly, the new Russian documentary claims that the cosmic origin of the microwave background has not been confirmed. In addition, the documentary interviews several prominent members of the Russian Academy of Sciences. This includes Oleg Dalkarov, head of the Department of Nuclear Physics and Astrophysics at the Lebedev Physical Institute, perhaps the premier academic institute in Russia, as one can learn in the links provided below. Vitaly Lapota, a leader in Russian astronautics and space exploration, is also featured. The documentary format is unlike what is typically found in the U.S. and is also focused on humanistic questions relative to science. In the documentary, I was unfortunately misquoted relative to Halton Arp. I stated that ARP had worked with Edwin Hubble, yet in the translation the film incorrectly refers to the Hubble telescope. In the end the error is but a detail and I still consider the documentary important. A link to the film is provided below. Now I do not agree with everything in this work, but people should be allowed to speak freely what they think about science. Relative to this film, it is unusual that an official government agency of a major world power would support a documentary questioning both relativity and the Big Bang. In fact, two films exist, this documentary and another feature film where a man portrays a scientist questioning our understanding of the universe. Scenes from the movie are shown in the documentary. So the two seem to represent a coordinated effort in questioning established cosmology. That is interesting because it seems to indicate a breaking away from dogma, which is the Big Bang. For Steve and I, our participation in this documentary demonstrates that our efforts are being noticed. Some people are paying attention, even if they remain relatively quiet, 
on social media. So for now, I'm asking everyone to view the Russian documentary. In the meantime, if you enjoyed the video today, promote the channel, mention the videos to your friends and to your local astronomy club, support me with a like, and subscribe for more videos as we look more closely at the sun, the stars, and beyond. Comments are always welcome down below, and I'll see you soon on our next video.